Welcome back. Okay, we want to be more specific mathematically with our uh, isometries, our translations, our and our reflections. And one way to be very precise with it is to put it into a grid system, just like we did in the Inkscape uh, tutorial. If you throw a grid on something, then you can say exactly where a certain point is and exactly where another point would be. Um, now, if I want to see if these two triangles here are congruent, if I can do a pattern of uh, isometries to get this shape to map exactly onto this shape, then I can say the two triangles are congruent. Um, so the way that I, I am going to do that, and it says here, uh, show that ABC is congruent to PQR with reflection followed by translation. So they kind of give it to you there. They, they say, okay, we're going to reflect and translate. So uh, just to do it with a patty paper to kind of show you what's going to happen, I'm going to take this shape. I'm going to reflect it, so that's flip it over. Now I wouldn't want to go this way because that would not work, right? So I want to reflect it across this line, and then I want to translate it down so that it maps on top. Okay. So the way I would do it in a coordinate plane, if I'm going to reflect something uh, across a line, and I could reflect it across this line of x equals negative 1, or I could reflect it across the y-axis, or I could reflect it across somewhere else. Uh, I think the best point is to, because I want to translate just straight down, is to reflect it across the y-axis, because then it goes the same distance away from the y-axis on this side, it will go on this side. So C reflects to uh, one, one, one away from the y-axis right here, so this is C prime. And then uh, B would go 1, 2, 3 away on this side. So 1, 2, 3 away on that side. This is B prime. And then A goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that point right there. This is A prime. Okay, and then I have this, this triangle that's intermediate to my final move. And just rough sketching there. Okay, so now I finally want to also translate. So I want to move this thing straight down. And I'm just going to move the point C needs to go around. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, straight down. So that, that my vector of translation is to go straight down six. And I end up on R. So the other ones also have to translate by the same amount. So they also have to go down six. So I just want to check to make sure that this is correct. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So B prime goes exactly 6 down to Q. And then A prime also needs to go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that confirms it that by a reflection over the y-axis and a translation of down 6, I would get um, an exact mapping of ABC onto uh, P, Q, R. Okay, now the next question says, if you reverse the order of your reflection and translation in part A, does it still map onto A, B, C, or A, B, C onto P, Q, R? So we're going to reverse the order. Instead of doing reflection first, let's do translation first and see if we get the same thing. So we're going to translate, I think, where's my triangle? I think the best way is to go, let's see, if I translate, I could translate all the way over to there and then reflect it, right? Or I could translate down to here and then reflect it across the y-axis. I'm going to go ahead and, and do something a little different. I'm just going to translate it all the way so that C is directly on to R. So that translation would be going down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 1, 2. Okay, so if I do that to all the points, if I go down 6 and over 2, so I'm going down 6 over 2 to get to R, let's do the same thing with B. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 2. So my new, my new C point is already on R. This is B prime. And then A is going to go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and over 2 to right there, so this is A prime. And now I have my intermediate triangle is here. 
So I did a translation, and it, it was by this vector going down 6 and over 2, going down 6 and over 2, going down 6 and over 2. And now I'm going to reflect it over the line x equals 1, right? This line right here. Okay, so everything, so c itself, c prime is 0 away from the line, so it, it goes right onto itself. B is 2 away, so it would go 1, 2, and then 2 to the other side, 1, 2. So it maps onto Q. And then A is 1, 2, 3, 4 away from this line. X equals 1. Let me highlight that. So I'm reflecting over this line. Not the y-axis, I'm reflecting over the line of X equals 1. So it goes 2 away there, so it's 2 over there. And it goes uh, 4 here, so 4 over there to get to P. And then 0 and 0. So it turns out that uh, I could have done it in either order. I could reflect and translate or translate and reflect.